um, it, it, it's my belief that um, whatever the organization chart, I mean, I mean, it, even if I go back, uh, you know, 10 years and, and, and 20 years in, in, in organizations or 30 years in organizations that I've worked in, um, there has been a hierarchy um, on the wall, which is the, you know, the organization chart, but there have also been um, other networks that have existed. And, and, uh, and they've always been there. Um, and, uh, the, and, and so, so there, there have always been uh, you know, political groupings and factions in organizations and, and, and things that, that were to do with the culture of the organization um, that you had to get to know. I, I'm, I'm a, I, I, you know, at heart, I'm a sales guy. And um, one of my uh, 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 approaches to, um, to, to pro the selling process is, is actually um, Jim Holden's power-based selling, which is all about the politics of the sale. And, and he has uh, the, the, the concept of, of somebody called the fox, who is actually um, some power broker that is usually not in the uh, uh, traditional place in the hierarchy, who actually is the key influencer in the sales process. And, you know, that, that's, that's breaking it down to sales. But I think those kinds of things have always happened. And then if you go to organizations that, that are um, organized a different way, like um, W.L. Gore, um, back in the 80s, I, 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 was, uh, I first met W.L. Gore when I was trying to, to sell them a manufacturing system up, uh, up for, for Europe. And, and I learned about organizations that were created, you know, with a non-standard structure. Um, but within a company like Gore or Steam, whatever it is, um, they organize themselves into, in, in, into teams. And within a team, a leader emerges. And you know there's a leader because the leader has followers. So, so I think although somebody hasn't made that leader the boss in a traditional way, the team have made that, that, that leader the boss because they're following him or her. So, so, so for, for me, um, the you know leadership is always essential. Um, the the you know whether, whether you've got a traditional hierarchy or, or a, 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 a non-standard way of organising, um, those kinds of, 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 of groupings will will happen, and they always have happened. Um, I think that, that the, the technology that we have now means that they are surfaced more easily. And, and that makes them easy, more easy to understand. It, it actually makes it makes them more, more easy to be effective. Um, but they, but those kinds of things happened anyway, even in old traditional hierarchies. It's just we see them more now because of the fact that we're communicating in, in a more open way. So, so for me, um, you know, you talked about bosses and that kind of thing. I, I, I think the, the organisations that actually recognise that uh, leaderships. You know, required visions required. Um, hierarchy, hierarchy can work if it's actually structured in the right way, and that you you, you allow uh, the, these other networks to um, develop to help the organisation, um, and, and, and and that you you aren't hide bound to the organisation chart on the wall. Those are the organisations that are going to be more successful. So, 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 with your change agents worldwide thing, I mean, you know, um, one of the things with WL Gore, you know, I was selling to them, um, the decision committee on this um, manufacturing system decision was it was a committee of twenty eight people, which you know for a sales guy is a nightmare. I've got twenty eight people I've, I've actually got to talk to, um, and but and their argument back to me uh, me was you know you know don't worry about this David because you know actually what it means is that that uh, you know we will take longer to make up our minds than, than the typical organisation but once we've made up our minds everybody's bought into it and so implement this thing that you're selling us significantly quicker than any other organisation because of the way we actually went went through the decision making process so everybody will be on board once once we've made the decision everyone will be on board and that was a, a really important lesson. Lesson to me.